Hello everyone, it's lovely to be here at APD. My name's Jackie Edwards and I am the head of uh, BBC Children's Acquisitions and Independent Animation. And it's the little corner of the BBC that buys most animation for the children's channels. Um, as you might know, the BBC is a public service broadcaster and hurrah for them. Um, <laughs> the BBC Children's has two channels for children. Um, and most of our money, the BBC, is spent on commissioned content for those channels. We cover many, many genres, including news, factual entertainment, drama, magazine shows, game shows, animation, and a whole, whole swathe of digital content and across both of the channels. So, we do lots of things, but where do we do it? We, of course, of course have our linear channels, CBBS, our and actually the UK's favourite preschool channel, I would add. Um, and we cater for children up to the age of six years of age. And then we have the CBBC channel, which is for older kids um, between six and 12 years of age. I've added a little plus question mark there because in the UK, um, children between the ages of 12 and 16 are hopelessly underserved. So we are hoping we might get a little bit of money at some point to try and cater for that audience as well. So watch this space. Um, both channels are on for a good part of the day. CBB starts nice and early, as you'd expect, for very young children at 6 a.m. And we go through to 7 p.m. And we follow the patterns of a child's day from get up and go in the morning to bedtime. And we help routine children's lives in the UK with bedtime. And some mothers as well, because we've had celebrities like Tom Hardy read a bedtime story recently, which has gone down terribly well. Um, as well as the linear channels, um, VOD is very important to us these days. iPlayer, the BBC's catch-up service, is tremendously important. And with all of our contracts, we ask for 30 days catch-up rights for VOD. Um, there's no underestimating the importance of catch-up services. In it describes the way that children are consuming media these days. Um, 50 to 60 million downloads for children's titles last year. And in the pan-BBC iPlayer figures, children's programs are regularly in the top 10 programs, usually beaten by EastEnders, but really give them a good run for their money. So it really does reflect the way children are consuming media these days. So iPlay, iPlayer is important for us. We've also got the children's iPlayer app, which is doing incredibly well for us, and you can watch your programs on the go. Our website is very, very, present and important and we carry all sorts of content on there. I'm going to whip through this because it'll be the same for a lot of us, I'm sure. Our website is important. We have dedicated brand, brand pages for all our titles. We do a whole range of different content from jigsaw puzzles, character quizzes, clip compilations, games, bespoke short form content. Social media is important to us. With CBB's age group, we are talking mostly to, well, exclusively to the parents, and we have some really fun content on there, and we engage with them. We have a really conversational relationship with parents for the CBB's uh, social media sites. CBBC, we're sort of doing a combination of adults and uh, children content, but it's all very, very funny, very, very age appropriate for everybody. Um, short form content is uh, a bigger thing for us, and we try and accessorize a lot of our long form series with some extra brand extensions, playing with brands, giving the audience a little bit extra. Um, games, big, small, we do them all. Um, and we try and develop games alongside production of shows as well. And we are commissioning the extra content earlier and earlier, usually at green light these days. So really think carefully about what you're pitching to us when you're pitching your long form series. Think about other opportunities that we could talk about early. So, the interesting bit, really, for you guys, how we do business at the BBC. As I said, commission programme is the biggest part of our budget spend, and that is really focused on UK content, so it's going to be mostly live action. We tend to buy most of our animation through the acquisitions um, framework, just because it's easier. It's a very straightforward license agreement. There's no back-end participation as there would be with a commission. So it's actually better for producers, and we've got more flexibility in terms of our budget years and the way we can shiggle money around, which we have to do all the time at the BBC. Um, there are two types of acquisitions. Oh, where am I? I'm sorry, I'm not keeping up. Here we are. 
two types of acquisitions, broadly speaking, under the same license agreement. Um, an off-the-shelf acquisition, an example of this would be uh, Technical as Wonderful, The Deep, Hello Alice and Warner, wherever you are in this room. Um, and we, it's a, it's a ready-made programme, we buy it off the shelf and we would put it on the channel after a compliance edit. Um, we also pre-buy more and more these days so we can have input into the editorial and make sure it's an absolutely brilliant fit for our channels. So CBB's acquisitions... We're very particular about our CBB's acquisitions because our audience are very discerning and their parents very noisy and frequent letter writers. So we, uh, the way we use our acquisitions budget for CBB's programmes is we pre-buy everything. So if you've got a preschool idea for an animation series, come to us very, very early. The earlier the better, early development, um, and we can kind of start a conversation then. Um, it's the best way for us to work. Um, so that's my top tip for you. We've got a range of different sorts of styles and techniques on display in our CBBS collection this year. Um, and we have shows from many, many parts of the world. It is true to say that most of our CBBS acquisitions are from UK producers just because they tend to have a more intuitive connection with our UK sensibilities. But it's not always the case. We have plenty of shows from all around the world. I think um, Studio Film Builders, Builders Patchwork Pals, which is debuting tomorrow. There's a little premiere, I believe, somewhere here. Um, it has been done here. Yeah, yeah. in Stuttgart. So we bought that a few years ago. We, we met at Cartoon Forum, and it's blossomed. the relationship has blossomed from there. Um, what's the big idea from France and Belgium? Um, Kazoops from Australia. I should put my glasses on, really, shouldn't I? Might help. Um, Nelly and Nora from Ireland. So we do look all over the world and just choose the very best ideas. So we're not sort of too UK-centric in BBC. Um, and again, I mentioned two of our sort of bigger shows. These are, these are playing very, very well for us. Seven-minute format. It works quite well for CBBS, but it's not the only format we do, and we're open to suggestions. It's absolutely about what suits your show and what sort of stories you want to tell. CBBC acquisitions. Now, it's more of a mixed bag because we do animation and live action acquisitions. We pre-buy and we buy off the shelf. So there's more of a combination and we are open to offers at any time in the nicest possible way, Christoph, before you say anything. Um, we tend to be more international with these programs. They're there to complement our UK focused commission programs. So we do look all over the world. The CBBC audience are looking outwards more than the CBB. So we are more open-minded about where things come from, the sensibility of them, and the sophistication of them. So, as well as UK pre-buys, um, like Scream Street, um, we have international shows uh, from Australia, like Bottlenecks and Gumballs, uh, DreamWorks, or is it NBC Universal's Dragons now? Um, and off-the-shelf acquisitions, like The Deep, as I mentioned previously. So, the even more important question, what is it we're looking for? CBBS, we don't, we tend, oh sorry, I've done it again. It's all right, darling. I'll take a little drink. Have a sip. Yeah, it's gin for her, obviously. It is gin, yes. Yes. How are we doing for time? Are we all right? Are well, you good, yeah. So, co-production we understood with UK people, so you talk to the UK producers in the room if mm -hmm. you want to get that level with her. Pre-acquisition for preschool, yeah. And also for CBBC on occasion, CB on occasion. for the right projects. Um, so for CBBS, we tend not to be too prescriptive, apart from we are always, always, always looking for new ways to educate, inform, entertain and inspire our audience. We love shows that help our audience take the first little steps towards big ideas. Um, in the past, we've done preschool philosophy shows. We're looking at a toddler engineering show at the moment and also one based on astrophysics. So those are the big ideas. and. Gentle, gentle things that inspire awe and encourage interest in, in subjects that are going to excite and challenge our audience, that sort of thing. But underneath all of that, always, always, always need compelling characters, engaging stories and plenty of fun. And just bear in mind, show us development early for CBBS. For CBBC, we love... Click. She was a producer before, she was not working for TV, so... <laughs> but that's also why she understands you, but hey. 
She's one of these few people who, has, as a broadcaster, was a producer before. She That's understands right. before the I hell of it. Before I went to the dark side, Christoph, yes. Um, so what are we looking for for CBBC uh, channel? Um, in animation terms, always character-driven comedy is an absolute um, delight for us. Our controller at CBBC, Cheryl Taylor, as an ex-comedy controller, um, she loves, loves, loves to be made to laugh. So funny scripts are very much the order of the day. Um, in particular, we are looking for a smart, funny female-led ensemble piece, sort of for our 69-year-old um, age group. And so that's our kind of main thing we're looking for at that 69-year um, group. We kind of pretty well serve for that age, for that demographic. Um, always looking for engaging storytelling. Um, for the older kids, we are looking... Oh, he's coming for me. <laughs> help! Quick, quick, help. quick stick, help, quick, help, quick, help. Quick. Um, for the older group, uh, we're looking for screwball adventures, fantasy, possibly a little bit of sci-fi. Put that one out there. Out there. Um, we pre-buy and we acquire off the shelf for CBBC. Top tips for pitching to us. Be visually different. Stand out from other... Thank you. And research the channel. Just try and find out what we've got on and look and see whether your show will complement our output and whether it suits the style and tone of the channel. Um, and I've said the rest of it before. So that will do. <laughs>